Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to set up a Spigot Minecraft server on Linux using live program Auto MC Server. So what you need to do is go to the GitHub page of Auto MC Server, which is the URL on your screen, or if it's high enough resolution, the URL up here. Then click install.sh raw and then hit Control S and save it to your downloads folder. Right. So next, you need to run the install script. Now, just a warning, on some systems, it will not be by default next cubicle. So what you need to do is go bash install.sh, dash h for help. So we can get some info on it. You don't have to do this. I'm going to install it locally because it doesn't require the administrator password. So now it's finished installing, and I can simply run auto MC server. And since I'm simulating a new installation for this tutorial, you can go through this. In this case, I'm going to say no, because I want access to the main menu right away. Let's go with set up a new server, and instead of choosing vanilla normal, which is what we chose in the last tutorial, I'm going to choose spigot. In this case, then my server would be my server one two three four. You can choose whatever name you like. Spaces should be okay. If you have problems using spaces, please send me a message immediately. You need Java 17 to run the latest version, and I want to run a new version of Spigot, so I need to select a new version of Java. And this is new in this latest version. I can press L on the file dialog menu go straight to the JVM page, instead of having to scroll. And I'll select Java right here. And yes, I do want to build the latest version of Spigot. And now it will take quite a bit of time. In a few minutes, the build should be complete. Press enter on yes to agree to the Mojang ULA. And I want to use a custom memory for gigabytes. A warning about Spigot, you can only provide memory in gigabytes. If you provide it in me megabytes, it will have some trouble. And I'd like to start the server now to generate a config uh, default world. Alright, everything's done. And I'll stop the server, because we don't need to do anything yet. I'd like to show you how to do the plugin system. If you need to know how to change the MOTD, you can just watch the video on how to set up a normal server, because it covers that. Let's go right to the list of servers, and then you'll see my server, 1234. And all this, these two options are covered in the previous video. This is not yet implemented. Delete server. I think you know what that does. And manage mods and plugins. And there are currently no mods added, so we're going to add them. When I say mod, I of course mean plugins. So I have a few plugins here. Just to notice, if you're running the Manjaro console, there's some kind of issue with the color system so that the selected items will not show up properly. That is not a problem with AutoMC server, that is a problem with Manjaro. So just monitor the red line at the bottom. So sure, let's do all of these, and press D for done. And now it's added all of these. And if I press enter while well, over this plugin, it gives me some information, and I can press enter to go back. And say I don't want to have in C++, I can delete it. So that's pretty much it for the Spigot portion. Thank you for watching. Thank you.